Okay, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. It's 419. Um, if we can take some roll call, um, Alder Heidemann? Here. Alder Decker? Here. Alder Salazar, I'm here. Um, Alder Feldy may be joining us remotely. Um, let's see if we can all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so Barb said no audio at all. How about I just call her? Is that okay? Yeah, she could just be on the line that way. Does that work? That's legal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's legal as long as she doesn't need to see something for yeah. voting on it, which she shouldn't in this case. We'll take a picture of that and text it to her. Yeah. Hey, Barb, we're just going to have you on the phone. Is that okay? Yeah, that's a, no, I was just going to try to call it on my phone. No, that's okay. I'll just keep you on the phone this way if that works for you. Oh, okay, that'll work for me. Okay, great. Um, we'll go ahead and skip agenda item number four. We all know each other. Agenda item number five, approval of the minutes for the November 15th meeting of 2023. For a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay, so we got a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Great. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Motion is approved. Okay, agenda item number six, uh, general ordinance number 31-26-24, an ordinance adopting new record retention schedules and making necessary amendments to the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to the adoption. I'm assuming this is for you, Jeff. Yeah, I can answer any questions that you have. You've got in the recommendations just a few comments for me. Basically, this is something we have to do uh, on occasion, and uh, this has been a project that has actually been going on for many years, uh, trying to get it uh, approved, but we've gotten that approved. Uh, and so as part of the process, now that the state's approved our schedules, uh, we have to update our ordinance to clarify, it basically does a couple things. It clarifies the role of the administrator as the administrative head of the city, uh, it makes clarifications regarding our current practice regarding custodianship of records, updates language related to certain types of electronic files. All those things are fairly minor changes. The, the main change is to adopt all the various particular schedules that have been approved by the state. So we're recommending that you recommend this for approval by council. Any um, you can go ahead. Uh, um, the question I had is, um, as far as like the city administrator, I mean, not that we, uh, we we hope that we don't have run into this problem again, but we did when we were without a city administrator for uh, who, who then takes over as the administrator. So there, the, the, records. the administrator is listed as in addition to the department heads okay. who is the custodian of various departmental records. So okay. the only issue would come is if at some time the administrator's records themselves if there is no administrator, but we can we can deal with that as it, as it's listed. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't have that problem yet. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. So and then uh, you you send this to who who gets this in Madison or State Records Board? State Records Board. It's already Board. been approved, so we have to go to them first. Okay. We got it approved, and now we're coming to you basically to change the yeah. ordinance so that our ordinance reflects the approved schedules. And every community goes through this? Every community goes so through it. In fact, we go through what it. Size, what yeah. size? It's it's everybody. Everybody. Uh, okay. it, they, we, in fact, we go through it twice because the PD does this separately on their own. Hmm. So. Okay. Right. Motion to approve. Second. All right, we've got a motion and a second. Uh, any other questions? Great, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Great. Agenda item number seven, uh, resolution number 101-23-24, a resolution authorizing the fire chief to enter into a software contract with the Locality Media Inc. Uh, first due. Great. What is, can you tell me what this is? Sure. Thank you. Great. Um, so Chief Montalano is sick after his vacation on support for us. So I'm here for him. Uh, essentially what happened. Yeah. I know. Um, 
we um we're switching over to a new fire reporting software suite um the old one that we used to use is obsolete so we had to look for something um the county actually paid for the whole suite for us and all the fire departments in the county so we were able to work out a deal where we got it cheap enough and they picked up the cost which was very nice this is an addition to that suite what this allows us to do um is it's like it's an app so we can pull it up on our ipads and it'll have all of our pre-plans on it it works with all the internet connection so we go to a fire and um we go to whatever, 728 Pennsylvania Avenue. When it shows up on our screen on our CAD, the pre-plan will show up on the iPad next to us so we can see the building, um, where the sprinkler connections are, um, where the fire alarm panel is, um, where the electrical shutoffs are and accesses and super keys and stuff like that. Um, in addition, it allows us to do our fire inspections on there without having an internet connection. It's supposed to be seamless. And right now we pay um, 1500 a year for software that calls our phones every time we get a fire. So I, when we get a fire, I get a phone call. This will also take care of that as well. So this is $2,000 a month. So we'll be able to get rid of this. And then we'll pay this for 1500 pay for this for 2000 This will take care of um, the app for the software for us. I can answer any questions you may so have. So you're basically combining two into the one? Is that what you're saying? Um, pretty much, yeah. So yeah. this will take care of the app for our inspections right now and mm -hmm. for our pre-plans to show up for us when we arrive on scene plus for our apps on our phone so that we can get notified of the fires. Okay. So it's kind of like you, any hazards are, I think when you guys get, get the fire, I'm like, okay, they, they, got, they got this stored here, we have to watch out. Yeah, so, this, so right now with our current reporting software, sure. it's very um, cumbersome to get to, so our guys have to like log in and then go and find it in the old sure. reporting software. Yeah. This one, it'll just be right on the screen as they roll so out the door. It saves time. Which saves, saves, yeah, it saves time and a lot of headache yeah. looking for stuff. I don't have any other questions. Yeah. Anyone else? No, oh, I'm good. Motion to approve. Thank you. Second. second. Got a motion and second. Uh, any other discussion? Great. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Um, okay. Um, our next meeting date will be December 13th of 2023. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Great. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Great. Meeting's adjourned. Okay. That was good. Thank you.